Hey guys, Amy here. Um, this morning I decided to go ahead because it's so beautiful outside to harvest my some of my Rosello flowers and calluses. Uh, unfortunately, we still have love bugs, but I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these taken care of. Um, now, some of the things you want to look for is um, if they've already flowered, a lot of times you can tell when they have, I don't know if y'all can see that inside there, let me get that out of the way, the little seed pod. There's no more flower there. They normally flower in the morning. Um, right now I don't have any that I can really show. Oh, there is one. Let me show you this one up here. If the sun's in the way, I'm sorry, guys. Um, they flower in the morning, and that's what they look like in the morning. Beautiful. And then what happens is the flower falls off, and then this callus, which is these guys here, forms the, the seed inside. Now, some of these, I am going to go ahead and let them go to seed because I would like to grow them next year. Um sun's kind of in the way but um, I'm gonna go ahead here's a nice one right there too I'm gonna pick the ones that have the seed in already inside of them the ones that have not opened up yet which are mainly going to be these littler ones like this one up here um, the little ones right here those haven't quite flowered yet now when you do harvest these i'm going to show you first let me grab my scissors i have a ziploc bag and a pair of scissors but when you harvest them you want to cut them at the base see how i got that the reason being is the flowers extra flowers grow at the at the crevices here like on this one um, if I get around to it, this one's got a little bud right there. This one right below it, there's another new flower coming. And these will continue to grow until it's done. See, there's a new flower coming there. And in between this one, there's a new one. Let me see if I can get something with a little bit more light here. Ah, here we go. Here's a nice one. So I'll cut it at the base. And then you could already see it's already producing new flowers. So you don't want to rip them off. You don't want to twist them because you can harm or kill the next one growing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. Oh, there's another flower. They're so pretty. Now, um, from what I can tell is that I know of because this is my first year doing this um, you can harvest them for tea is mainly what they're used for uh, this is the red sorrel other people call it Jamaica sorrel some call it Rosella um, it goes by a couple different names and what you want to do is when you all right mr love bugs still not as many um, but what you want to do is you only want to harvest them after the flower has fallen off um, the couple that I'm going to leave are going to be some of the bigger ones near the bottom um, so then that way they can actually that seed pod can dry up and then I can collect the seeds inside and I'll show that on a different video um, but I'm really excited about making the tea I want to go ahead and harvest now. I'm going to put them in a Ziploc bag and then I'm going to just put them in the freezer. Now some tips um, is also to these have a red dye um, so 
if you don't want your hands to get coated, you can wear a pair of gloves with this. So let's get started. All right, guys, my Ziploc bag is almost full, and I'm going to see if I can find a couple here that I can show you a little bit better, maybe better in the light. Okay, as you can tell, you can see the seed pod that's in there, and that's what it looks like. Um... more open. I left some of the bigger ones on the um, plant because like I said I wanted them to the seed pods to dry out and be able to um, so I can you know get the seeds from them. I'm just trying to find one that might be a little bit bigger that you guys can see better. I did get a couple of big ones that one maybe so you can see the uh, see but high cement that's my daughter's cat cement ah there it goes oh there we go in the sunlight so as you can tell there's a the seed pot high cement and um, what they do is the um, when one dries out, the seeds will pop out and you just shake them. You turn them up and shake them like that. And the seeds will actually come out. So when I get some that are um, what do you call it? Um, seeded, I will go ahead and do a video on that. Now, cement, you know you're not allowed on the counter. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get these put into the freezer for right now to keep them fresh. And then once I have a, a couple of uh, bags full of these, I will then go ahead and um, there's a couple different techniques you can get the seeds out because you don't want to put this, these seeds in with the tea. Um, so I will actually show that in another clip for y'all. Hope you enjoy it. Hope that you find this informational and keep watching and grow something for your family. All right. If you like that video, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We also are on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And we also have a Facebook group where you can post your own pictures and also make comments and help other people grow something for your family.